please, please, please leave a comment. Yay! Angry phrases. <laughs> guys, hello. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, guys. Are you guys here? Please let me know. <laughs> Because I don't see anyone, anyone now. <laughs> I'm doing... Okay, guys. Hello. Hello, Storytime. She's Dragon, Liz Powell. And guys, you're all here, right? <laughs> Taehyung's and Tete, Joy. Hey! Z-E-K-E-M! You're here again, guys. I think now I started memorizing your name. <laughs> Hello, guys. Can you guys see this? I made today's board. Yay! So, 1 p.m. KST, Thursday. <laughs> We always have Korean class, right? So, please don't forget. And, ta -da! Like, love, share these angry Korean phrases with your friends. Please. <laughs> so if you're on Facebook, you can share it really easily, right? Please share it now. Just tick. <laughs> click on the share button so you can share these angry Korean phrases with your friends or your family, <laughs> family, colleagues, anyone. So I hope these phrases are really useful. But these are angry ones, so I hope you don't use it a lot. <laughs> okay. So, since these are angry phrases, actually, I prepared something. <laughs> I'm quite embarrassed, but yeah, I prepared something. Ta -da! <laughs> I bought these for my Halloween party with my friends. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> so I thought it goes well with this topic, angry phrases. Yay! So, yes. <laughs> I'm so impressed now. I hope this is not too weird. So this is kind of Halloween special. <laughs> so you can use it in Halloween days. Maybe you can costume as an angry Korean person. <laughs> okay, so while waiting for other students to join this class, let's, <laughs> let's recap what we learned last time. Did you study what we learned last time? Uh, what we learned. <laughs> so last week we learned Korean drama phrases. These are really common ones. I'm sure you've already heard a lot of these phrases. <laughs> so let's look it really quickly and then start today's lesson. So first, ta -da! last week we learned 죽을래? <laughs> 죽을래? <laughs> This means do you want to die? And next, 헤어져, 헤어져. It means let's break up, let's break up. <laughs> And 어떻게, 어떻게. It means <laughs> what should I do, what should I do. And next one, 미쳤어. 미쳤어? It means, are you crazy? Are you crazy? I know I'm speaking too fast, right? Because we studied these last time. So please review the video on Facebook and YouTube if you think it's too fast. Okay? <laughs> okay. Hey, crazy and <laughs> Khan. <laughs> you guys are here, right? Kajima, please don't go. Don't go. Okay, and next one, 몰라, 몰라, 몰라 means I don't know, I don't know. Crazy, good job! Wow, you studied hard. Any great, Winnie, 어떻게? <laughs> How do, 헤어져! Yes, you guys are practicing, reviewing really well. Good job. 왜? Why? Why? You've heard these phrases a lot, right? <laughs> and next one. 약속해. 약속해 means 약속해. Please promise. Promise me. Promise me. And 알겠어. 알겠어. 
It means I got it, gotcha. I see. <laughs> I got it. And the last one, 그만해. 그만해. Stop it. Stop it. So we learned these really common 10 Korean phrases last time. So please check out the previous video on Facebook and YouTube if you want to learn more. And I just see the <laughs> Did you see the these icons? This means please like <laughs> Like, love, share this video, <laughs> please. Okay, so today we are gonna study the angry Korean phrases, right? Angry Korean phrases. So last time I felt really bad to say bad phrases to you. I know those are these examples, but <laughs> but still I felt really bad. So today I invited a guest. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna tell the bad phrases to this guy, not to you guys. <laughs> so this is Halloween special, yay! <laughs> okay, so guys, Carolina, uh, 안녕하세요, Taehyung, and the style Jimin had in the Save Me area. <laughs> Story time, Haru, the boys. Guys, thank you for joining the class, and let's start today's lesson. So, <laughs> first lesson, first one, we are gonna say is, <laughs> 니가 뭔데? 니가 뭔데? <laughs> this means, hey, <laughs> what do you think you are? What do you think you are? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> well, this is pumpkin. I'm pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think you are? Sorry. <laughs> so, yes, you can use this phrase when someone is saying something <laughs> they saying something you don't like, then who do you think you are? Why? <laughs> then you can say 니가 니가 뭔데? 니가 뭔데? And do you see 니 here? D means you, right? But this can be really confusing because there is another word, another word for you. Ta da! So, D. D, D means this pronouns, D, and the meaning is you. First as have you heard? Ne? You can also say Nega Monde Nega Monde The pronunciation is ne and it also means you But in casual conversation or informal conversation usually we say ni because pronunciation of ne is similar to Ne. This is ne, and this means my. So the pronunciation is pretty similar to this and this. So people think these are confusing. So when you write, you use this a lot, and this is more uh, polite than this. Oh, I mean, in terms of writing, writing form, this is more correct. But when you speak, you use this because the pronunciation is same. It's confusing. <laughs> so you will see this ni and ne both in the writing form. So please be careful or keep in mind that both are the same meaning. Okay. <laughs> hey, Rene, Ren, Zuka. <laughs> wow. Yes. And then what is our next one? Next one is ta -da! Zazunna. <laughs> Can you see this? Zazunna. It means annoying. Annoying. <laughs> it looks like annoying orange, isn't it? When I saw this, I looked like, oh, this looks like an annoying orange. Well, <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> this means annoying. So Zazunna means Zazunna. It means annoying. So when if I say, um, 나 지금 짜증나. 
나 지금 나 means me or I 지금 지금 means now so 나 지금 짜증나 that means I'm annoyed I'm annoyed and if someone say 너 짜증나 너 it means you that means you are annoying so 짜증나 means annoying but depending on the subject here it can be is annoyed or annoying so you can use it if someone is really annoying 짜증나! <laughs> 짜증난다고! <laughs> okay, so next one <laughs> I'm really happy with our guests I'm always alone in the room and <laughs> I now have this <laughs> special guest this is awesome thank you for joining <laughs> okay so <laughs> Next one, next one, yes. <laughs> 장난해? 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 Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? In English, it can have two meanings. When you are surprised, you can say, are you kidding me? Like, for example, you went to a supermarket in your city and you saw Jimin, BTS Jimin, there. Then... You say you told your friends that oh I saw I saw Jimmy in the supermarket and your friend said are you kidding me? Right? But in Korean this meaning is different. You don't use it when you are surprised. You use it when you are uh, a bit annoyed. So it's like 장난해? <laughs> so 장난해? 장난해? So for example Oh, look at this picture. This picture. So this this girl opened uh, probably birthday gift box and looks so disappointed, right? Maybe she opened the box and there are five mosquitoes. Five mosquitoes. And she's like, 장난해? 장, 장난해? <laughs> so yeah, you don't use it when you are surprised. It's just a phrase you use it when you are annoyed, okay? So it's different from English phrases. Okay, so, guys, <laughs> guys, I want to say something. You can see the link. ta da ta -da. Here, here, you're somewhere. Click the link, then you will see our website. So, on the website, you can see, you can download your free Korean learning ebook. You can learn really useful Korean phrases like hobbies or colors. So please download it for free. This book, this book is only for Korean class 101 members. So if you are not a member, it's free. So just sign up and download it and learn more Korean. And you can find my video on the page. <laughs> so please check it out. And then learn more Korean. I hope this book is really useful and you can learn lots of Korean phrases and words and improve your Korean. Good luck! <laughs> and please let me know if you have any questions while studying with this ebook. <laughs> download it! Don't forget to download it! <laughs> yes, Liz Powell said, No is you, not I. Exactly. No, no is you, you. Good job, guys. Okay, so let's move on to our next phrase. I cannot say this phrase. This I cannot say this phrase to you. So I'll invite our guest. Oh, someone asked what is <laughs> name of our guest. Do you have any <laughs> suggestion for the name? Okay, 입 닥쳐. <laughs> 입 닥쳐. 입 닥쳐. It means shut up, shut up. <laughs> 입, 입 means mouth, mouth. It means mouth. And 
닥쳐? <웃음> oh, sorry guys. 닥쳐 means shut up. Shut, shut up. <웃음> so you can omit this and just say 닥쳐. This is totally fine. So 입 means mouth and <웃음> you can omit this. How do is it shut your mouth? Exactly, exactly. <웃음> Kiyomi Dweeb just said, this means pumpkin she. Okay, so <laughs> the guy, this guy's name is pumpkin now. <laughs> so, okay, so I have another phrase to say this pumpkin guy. Ta -da! <laughs> you see this, this word. Ta -da! Here, this means mouth, mouth, and this too, mouth. And 조심해 means be careful or watch. So 입 조심해. 입 조심해 means watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. 입 조심해. So for example, you are a girl's generation's fan. <laughs> And someone said, 소녀시대 싫어요. Someone said, the bad, <laughs> bad someone said, 소녀시대 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 It means girls' generation or SNSD 소녀시대 싫어요 싫어요 시 싫어요, but if you pronounce it quickly, 싫어요. 소녀시대 싫어요. If someone said that, it means I hate girls' generation. Bad person, no. <laughs> Then you can say, you can say, <laughs> or watch your mouth. Don't say, don't say it again. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. 입 조심해. 입 조심해. 입 조심해. <laughs> okay, so next one. What is our next phrase? 딴. 듣기 싫어. 듣기 싫어. 듣기 싫어. By the way, I like girls' generation. This was just an example because I saw lots of girls' generation fans in the comment. So I just want to mention, but I feel really bad to <laughs> mention their name in the best sentence. Don't worry, I love them. They are so beautiful and talented. <laughs> so anyway, if sis, if you, if someone say a bad word, you can say 듣기 싫어. That means I don't want to hear it. 듣기 싫어. 듣기 싫어. So, guys, if you've watched our previous videos, I think you are familiar with this sentence pattern. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, yes. So, let's try to make this sentence really quickly. Using the pattern that we learned last time. So, if you don't know... <laughs> If you are not familiar with this sentence pattern, please check out our previous video. It's on Facebook and YouTube so you can learn it. So, guys, look at this. This means to listen. 듣다. 듣다. 듣다, it means to listen. To listen, to listen. And I'm gonna make this sentence in, uh, using 듣기 싫어. You see this here, right? So, the verb stem of this word is tut. What is verb stem? Just take out ta at the end of the verb. That it mean it become verb stem, stem of the verb. So the verb stem of to listen is tut. And then this sentence pattern. This means I don't want to. I don't want to. So 듣기 싫어. Just put the verb stem and then put 기 싫어. That means I don't want to listen, I don't want to hear. So I hope you guys remember this sentence pattern and if not, please check out our previous video. <laughs>
Okay, so our next phrase. Ta da! More? 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 This pronun pronunciation might be hard for foreigners. So more, more. If it's hard, you can just say more, more, <laughs> more, qu really quickly. So this means whatever, whatever. Actually, it literally means it's like what is the person talking about? I'm not listening. <laughs> I'm not listening. Just talk whatever. It's something like that, but this phrase <laughs> can be quite offensive, so please be careful when you use it. Because as I told you, it contains a meaning that I'm not listening, I don't care. <laughs> so for example, someone is complaining about you, like Pumpkin. <laughs> Pumpkin said, hey, Kajin, I told you your hairband looks horrible, don't do it. <laughs> Why did you do that again? Then I can say, whatever. More? <laughs> I'm not listening, just talk, whatever. More? Whatever. Or, I'm not listening, what is the person talking about? I don't care. So, more? And there is another phrase. Ta da! 상관하지 마. You can also, instead of more, you can also say, 상관하지 마. 상관하지 마. 상관하지 마. It means it's none of your business. Hey, your hairband is horrible. <laughs> the pumpkin saying, then I, I can say, it's none of your business. It's none of your business. 상관하지 마. 상관하지 마. 상관하지 마. 상관하지 마. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so Jangil Han, good job, and Lucia Markani, good job. UUTV, ah, more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Vinny, Haru, Charlie Daniel, Zenzo, story time, Kenda, Kendra, good job, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to our next phrase. Next phrase is. 어쩌라고? 어쩌라고? <laughs> it means, so what? So what? <laughs> so it literally means, so what do you want me to do? So what? So, 어, 어쩌라고? So what? 어쩌라고? 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 So what? For example, this bad pumpkin <laughs> this bad pumpkin is saying, Hey, why are you learning Korean? <laughs> I know some people are <laughs> some people are saying just want to care about other others' life too much and say, Hey, why are you learning Korean? It's it's a small country, blah blah. So what? <laughs> 어쩌라고? <laughs> 어쩌라고? 어쩌라고? Okay. And is our last phrase. 적당히 해. 적당히 해. 적, 적당히 해. It means that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. 적당히 해. 적당히 해. 적당히 해. Yes, so you can say, if you think the person is about to go too far or saying something really bad, then you can say, that's enough. Stop it. That's enough. 적당히 해. 적당히 해. Okay, guys, we covered 10 Korean phrases with this pumpkin today. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> How was today's lesson? <laughs> I hope this lesson was really useful. So please, please, Click on the like and love and share button so <laughs> so you so I can make more videos with you. I need your support so please like love 
<웃음> And share, please share before this video ends. Please share it. So, Sarah just said, 적당히 해요. Exactly. So, it, since you guys are saying, oh, it's enough, I'm ending this class very soon. But before leaving, we have to recap, right? <laughs> we always have to recap because we study lots of Korean phrases every day, every week. <laughs> Okay, so first one was 네가 뭔데? 네가 뭔데? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Okay, and next one 짜증나 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 means annoying It can be it's annoying, you are annoying He or she is annoying, they are annoying Or I'm annoyed I'm annoyed So you have to this, you have to know the meaning depending on the context. Okay, so next one. 장난해? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 장난해? 장난해? So this phrase, in English, you can use that phrase when you are surprised, right? But in Korean, you only use it when you are annoyed. 장난해? And... Next one. Next one. 입 닥쳐! <laughs> wow, I don't use this phrase <laughs> in my daily life. I think this is really bad, so I don't use it. So, if you, if you can understand this phrase from Korean drama or a Korean movie, that would be great. But I don't recommend using this phrase, okay? 입 닥쳐 means shut up. <laughs> okay. And next phrase was is 입 조심해. 입 조심해. 입 조심해 means watch your mouth. And next one was 듣기 싫어. 듣기 싫어. 듣기 싫어. 듣기 싫어. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. 듣기 싫어. 듣기 싫어. And next phrase was guys, do you remember? Tana. Whatever. <laughs> 뭐래? 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 Next one. 상관하지 마. 상관하지 마. It means it's none of your business. 상관하지 마. And next one. 어쩌라고? <laughs> I use it a lot. <laughs> 어쩌라고? <laughs> 어쩌라고? 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 So what? So what? And the last phrase was 적당히 해. 적당히 해. That's enough. That's enough. So I think this, this lesson is enough <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> so please don't forget to click on like, love, share and download our -da 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 free ebook. So are you going to join our lesson next week? <laughs> it will be a uh, Korean Hangul lesson. <laughs> Korean Hangul lesson. Ta -da! This is awesome. Learn to ooh, here. Learn to read Korean in 20 minutes next Thursday 1 p.m. Korean time. So Lots of Korean, lots of Korean learners leave a comment on YouTube and Facebook said, "Sorry, your I like your lesson, but I don't know how to read Korean. That's why I prepared this one. <laughs> I prepared this lesson for you. So please join the class if you are not familiar with Korean alphabet Hangul. So I'll teach you how to read Korean." Next Thursday at 1 p.m. Okay, <laughs> I really I, I'm gonna prepare a lot, so I hope you guys can join it. Please, please, please. Next Thursday 1 p.m. Korean time. It's not American. It's not Indonesian, Filipino, or <laughs> European time. It's Korean time. 1 p.m. Korean time. And thank you guys. Thank you so much. Please, please, <laughs> please join the class next week too. So. I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Thank you so much. And don't forget to download this ebook to learn more and more Korean while I'm not teaching you, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for joining and see you next week. Bye bye. Oh, sorry. This pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin wants to say bye to you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>